Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a Primark haul. It's been so long since I've done a haul video in my channel. I don't even know how to start these videos anymore because it has been years since I've done a proper haul video. So we live in Wales and in Wales we had a two week fire break lockdown where all the stores were closed apart from essential sh shops. And we've just come out of the fire break lockdown and stores are back open. So I went to Primark to get a few things for Christmas, getting all organized and I thought I would share with you what I got in Primark. If you're in England or somewhere where you're in full on lockdown, I am so sorry that you won't be able to pop into Primark until the beginning of December, but hopefully that will help you know exactly what you need to get when you're able to get into Primark because they do have some really good things and I'm really glad I picked up some of the things I did. Um, other things I picked up too, just to try because the um, all the changing rooms are closed so I can't try anything in store anymore. But yeah, hope you enjoy this video and I'm gonna stop rambling and get straight into it. So I'm gonna start with this bag here because it's got tartan and that's making me very, very excited for Christmas. Um, so I got us matching stockings for all of us as a family. This is the first time we have matching stockings. We've always just had, you know, whatever stockings you can find in the attic from previous years. But I thought this year, I'll make the extra effort and I'll get us all matching stockings. And they're really, really cute. So I've got four of them and they were how much? Let me see, five pounds each, but they are quite big and they feel really good quality. I love this furry bit here on the top. So yeah, it feels quite deep. As you can see, I can get my whole arm in it. Don't know why I did that, but just so you can get an idea of the size. And keeping in with the Christmas spirit, I got myself a Christmas jumper. Every year I get a new Christmas jumper. I don't go overboard and get too many, but I do have a sizable collection. Um, I like to get a new one every year because it reminds me of that particular year. So this year, this will be my Christmas jumper of 2020. This was 12 pounds. And yeah, I hope this will fit really nicely. You're probably seeing already how it fits because I haven't tried it on, but future me that's putting all the cutaways on there has tried it on. Then I also got a Christmas jumper for James and one for Bella. This is James's one. How cute is it? It has it says Merry Christmas here and at the bottom it says cool dude. It's got snowmen and reindeers, just the traditional Christmas jumper print. I wanted this in my size, but I couldn't find it. So this was eight pounds. I got this in a size five to six, age five to six. I wanted to get the matching ones, but she is such a pink obsessed girl and I knew she'd prefer the pink one. So I got her this one, which has a little polar bear with like holographic sparkles on there. And this one was eight pounds as well and got a size four to five to Bella. And it's just like fuzzy white and pink one. I know she will love this. Then I got us matching pajamas. The first time I did this was last year. Until last year, we'd never had matching pajamas, but we did it last year and they loved it. It was such like a special thing for them. And I thought, well, this year it will be even more special. We're spending so much more time at home and it's the little things now that will get us excited for Christmas rather than the big trips to see Father Christmas and things like that. So I got us this set, um, just went for like traditional Christmas prints, nothing special. Um, I got me, James and Belle. I couldn't find one in Matthew's size, which I'm gutted. So if I do go back to Primark to return anything, I might look to see if they got his size so I got age three to four for Bella um, and they come with trousers as well I was just like desperately looking for trousers because I didn't know if these ones had come with trousers age five to six for James and I got myself age 13 to 14 because I couldn't find um, a size small or a size medium for women so I got the kids size age 13 to 14 which looks like will fit me I mean I'm only five foot tall sorry I just turned on my Computer, I'm only five foot tall and uh, yeah, hopefully it will fit. It's the trousers that I'm worried about because you know, hips after having kids. <laughs> I'm going on a really random order, but I hope you don't mind. I picked myself up this little bag, which I thought was really, really cute. I'm not one for buying bags. I don't really have many bags, probably about three bags in total. But I saw this one and I thought, oh, I have a space for you in my life. I don't have a black bag that's like this. Um, I don't have a black bag at all, I don't think. And it's got like a croc effect kind of pattern and a long strap. It's big enough to fit my purse and my phone, which is all I need. 
and I just loved it. I can picture myself wearing this crossbody. This was six pounds. And whilst we're talking about things to go with this outfit, I also got myself these boots. I am obsessed with combat boots at the moment. I bought my first ever pair of combat boots from New Look and I've been wearing them to death. So I saw these in Primark and they have the studs, which is really, really nice. And they were such a nice fit as well. They're a bit taller than my New Look ones and the, the heel is a bit chunkier, uh, but I kind of like it. I think it looked really good with what I'm wearing. I've got like leather look leggings and this big baggy Rolex black jumper. Just looked really nice and I think it will go really well with the bag as well, like an all black everything outfit. Hopefully you'll see what I mean in the cutaways. This was £20 and I got this in a size 3. I'm usually a size 2 but I can get away with a size 3 in boots. I also picked this up for myself because I've been wearing quite a lot of girlfriend and like more baggy style jeans and I struggle to get footwear for those kinds of jeans. And I saw this and I thought oh, this will look cute with my girlfriend style jeans. Um, these are like leathery feel. Um, they're not fabric, which I like because they can be wiped clean and it's a lovely nude colour. This was £8. I got these little boots for Bella because, again, like I said, she's obsessed with pink and she's only got one pair of boots, which is like her muddy, welly boots. They're having like a special children in need day on Friday in school where they have to wear their own clothes. So I thought she could wear these little boots. They were £12 and I got her a size 7. Um, and I also got her this dress to go with the boots which is just a plain grey dress with like the frilly skirt and it says princess, it has a crown here on the front and it has long sleeves. She's obsessed with any like kind of dress and stuff, she loves dresses and I know she'll really like this. And I thought the grey and pink went really well together and she will really love this. Uh, this was £8 the dress. I got something for James to wear as well on the Friday, I got him a new jumper. This is a Toy Story jumper, it says you've got a friend in me and it's a navy blue colour and it's got all the characters. I know he'll love it. I was tempted to just go for something really plain and smart but I know that him and his friends are just going to want to see what each other are wearing and if he's got something that's like from one of his favourite movies it's going to make him a lot happier. This was £5 and I got this age 5 to 6. I also got both of them a pair of fleecy pyjamas. I got James a Pokemon pair, which was seven pounds. And I got Bella a princess pair. I think it's got Rapunzel on the front and this was seven pounds as well. I also picked Bella up this little hoodie that says ballet all day. And I got this in age four to five because I couldn't get her size, but I thought this could be like a little oversized hoodie for her. Um, it has, yeah, it has a price. It was £5, which is a really good price because these hoodies from Primark tend to last her a long time. I got her some sparkly tights to go with the dress for children in need day in school. So this one is just white with little pink crystals. I don't know if you can see, not crystals, jewels. And this one is black with silver jewels. Then I got her this, which is what I actually went in for and ended up buying loads more. Uh, but yeah, she needed new scarf, hat and glove set. So I got her this little pink and white set. Um, the reason why I went for the set, I actually just wanted the gloves, but the individual gloves looked massive and these these were the only ones that looked small enough to fit her hands so I just thought I'll get the full set and she can wear it all together. I got myself a couple of joggers to try on because like I said I can't try anything on in store and I liked the colour of this but it didn't have my size so I bought this one which is my size to see which one I like or which one I want to keep. So this one is a nude shade and I got this in an extra small. So I don't know if this will be too tight in my waist and it will be annoying me and it's got like the cuffed leg as well which is quite nice and then this green one is in the size small and it feels a lot roomier which I like and this one has the cuffed leg as well. They're both £5 so not massively expensive and they were marketed as a skinny type of joggers so I'm hoping these fit well. I saw this knitted hoodie and I really liked it. It's kind of like an off-white colour, but on camera it's looking bright white, but it's not. It's like a creamy white colour. But I think they intended for this to be more fitted, which is why I had to get it in a large to make it sort of like a bit roomier. But I don't know. Hopefully I'll like how this looks. 
This was £13. I also got Bella another pair of tights, a pink one and a cream one, and they were £3.50 for two. And then I got myself some sports socks, just black and white socks, and a pair of gloves. So you get two pairs for £1. And then I got a few Christmas things for the kids, which I'm going to have to whisper because they're downstairs. Um, so I got Bella this little set of um, makeup brushes, and it's got like a mini mouse bow which serves as a holder as well for brushes now i know she's just gonna play with them and pretend that she's putting on makeup but she seems obsessed at the moment with watching me do my makeup and wanting to copy what i'm doing which is really cute so um her one of her main presents is a little makeup desk for her bedroom so i thought i could get this and she will flip when she sees this she will absolutely love this it was 10 pounds for the set and i suppose if you want to use the brushes for yourself you could just replace them with like old brushes from your own you don't have to waste new brushes um but i kind of like that it matches and she's gonna really enjoy pretending to do her makeup and to go with it i got her this little set of beauty blenders like sponges for three pounds um, from Primark. She sees me using my beauty blender every day to do my makeup and she's constantly asking me if she can try the beauty blender and obviously because it's got makeup on it I don't give it to her so I thought I'll get her her own and she can then pretend she's putting on makeup like me. Um, and then I got these little scrunchies which um, were two pounds for a pack of six. I thought just thought they were really cute and she'll enjoy those. And I got this Sugar Lips uh, lip oil set. So they're like tinted lip oils. There's three of them in there. And yeah, it's just like a little bit of fun, bit of gloss to put on her lips. Might go together with the, the brushes. And then I got myself this lip balm. This is a watermelon lip balm. It was £1.50. I just thought I'd try it. Quite fancied it. And it comes in a nice little packaging. You could give this definitely as a gift. I'll put it on the Christmas tree as like a little Christmas tree present to someone. And yeah, that is everything in my Primark haul. I hope you enjoyed it. It's been so long that I've kind of lost my mojo with hauls and stuff. I tend to do them much more on Instagram and do like just ad hoc on stories. But yeah, I thought I'd do this one here on YouTube because everyone loves a Primark haul and with not being able to go out in stores, it's nice to see what's out there for when you're able to go out and you can get some things that you've been meaning to get. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below what things you liked and what you think I should keep or return. And yeah, subscribe to my channel if you're new and I will see you in my next video. Bye.